Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another Auto World unboxing video and I am excited to bring you 2020 uh, premium release 2 from Auto World, both sets A and sets B. Uh, one of the, Both of these cases here that you're looking at are mine. Um, I did also get a couple cases, or Die Castrum ordered a couple cases, who's uh, kind of sort of in a way sponsored a few unboxing videos on this channel. And um, so yeah. We're going to go ahead and get these guys open. And we're going to see if we score an ultra red, an ultra raw. You know, it'd be crazy. We'll see. And we're going to take a quick look at the series. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just do the both A and the, the B right here. And then we'll quickly go through uh, the other case cases just to see if we score a chase. So we're kind of going to be doing the same thing twice here. Uh, so let's start with this one. I believe these are sealed cases. I believe they are. Uh, they do have a chance of scoring a chase, and it would be very, very sweet to score a chase. I've gotten lucky with a lot of green light cases uh, doing this. Um, not a lot of auto roll cases. It seems quite difficult to score an ultra red. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into version A. And I'm just going to grab them out one by one without peeking, and we'll be surprise together hopefully all right so here we go one of 88 16 this is the 2019 chevy silverado high country brand new tooling from auto world looks pretty darn good uh north sky blue you can read that if you want to here's a quick peek at the card art beautiful illustrations on the card art you guys know i just don't collect the card I just take everything out of the package. Well, with Auto World, some of the cases I have two and three, you know, versions of the car. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm a hoarder when it comes to Auto World, so I do have some packaged Auto World. Uh, here's a very, very nice one. This may be the highlight of this set. This is the 77 Chevy Bonanza C10 Fleet Side in brown iridescent with neutral um, colored, I guess, accents. And it looks really good. Uh, one of 10,808. I don't know. Does that make it the most produced uh, Auto World car so far? Or most produced, anyway, since they started naming them. Anyway, this thing is beautiful. It's brown. It's like a metal flake brown. It looks really awesome. So I am quite liking that one. I actually got an extra one of those in mind. Oh, man. Heart skipped for a second. But this is Firecracker Red not an ultra red uh 2018 jeep wrangler unlimited sahara Ooh, this is actually wait eleven thousand. so a lot of these cars as you're seeing are going to be available in straight packs which means to hobby dealers they can get full cases of these uh jeeps and this one they actually made more of than the chevys uh that's kind of interesting so i mean there was a time where you could ditch this one right here and it would be 1,816, and that'd be how many are, are, are made in the series of Auto World. It's crazy how the production numbers have gone up, which is a good thing. Uh, that means more people are buying them, and they're able to make more of them. Ooh, okay, this one looks absolutely fantastic in Synergy Green. The 2011 Chevy Camaro RS SS. 6,800 pieces only of this one. This one might not be available in a straight pack. I do not know. But, man, does this casting look beautiful in green. In this color green. It's absolutely fantastic. Love it. You guys want to peek at that card art? The card art looks really nice in this one, too. Uh, just really cool. It's kind of cool, actually, this whole the card art. How they do the, the border is whatever color in the whole series is going to share that and then the car itself kind of goes from a darker version of the color of the car to a lighter version when the car itself kind of goes in the opposite so anyway pretty cool <clears throat> uh, but that one's actually that green one may be my favorite all right next we got this in silver mist poly it is the 1975 buick estate wagon at least that's the color how the color goes on some of these cars this one it doesn't it goes still just red. Maybe because it would have been weird to do silver in the background. But Silver Miss Polly. And this one is limited to 6,800 pieces as well. Which makes me think that these two cars are not available in straight packs. Is what we call them. Um, Alright. Next. 
we got an ultra red sweet yeah buddy that feels good to pull an ultra red look at that so uh one in 9800 of course it's going to be three percent of the production of that danube blue poly is what the regular car would look like and we may pull that in the other case who knows we might pull more ultra reds i have no idea it feels really good to score one right off the bat last car out of that case so that is very cool to immediately check off an ultra and off the list should we just yeah let's do it let's just go through version a again real quick that we'll just blast through this this is um since we've already looked at the cars this is version a um again and this is the one that came out of die cast rooms box of course that cast room super cool like if i score a red out of any of these cases he's going to probably just give it to me and i've got something to give back to him that's going to be really awesome too i did an unboxing video of a different set and uh might have scored something he's gonna really like anyway here's this again very very nice camaro here is what this car should have looked like in danube blue poly which is one I'm going to have to get off the pegs, which should be an easy one to grab. I don't think too many people are going to grab this car. It's it's a nice casting, but it's not the most popular um, Auto World casting. I feel like people are going to snap up that green Camaro for sure. Uh, the Jeep and Firecracker Red, I don't know if that's going to be terribly popular in my area. Of course, the trucks are always popular, so that one's going to be popular. And uh, two, I mean the uh, the high country. Here's this one. So this one is going to be the confusion. People are going to think this is an ultra raw. I think when they first pick it up, they're like, "Oh my god, did I score an ultra raw?" No, it's just silver Miss Polly. It's a nice color for the for the wagon, uh, but sorry, not a chase. All right, and then lastly, there you go, right there, the Chevy Silverado High Country. All right, so no chase in that case. We are 50-50. Set those aside. We're going to grab the B, version B. We'll go through this first one a little bit slower. Okay. And boom! No, I'm just kidding. This looks like an ultra red, though. This one is going to totally confuse people. I cannot wait to see all the Instagram posts uh, asking if this is an ultra red. It's not, okay? It would have a white base if it was, uh, just to keep it easy for you. But it isn't an ultra red. Yes, it looks pretty close. And on camera, probably it looks even closer than it does in person. It is red iridescent, okay? And I believe that's what that means, irid, iridescent. It's got to, right? Anyway, this looks awesome in this color, actually. It's a great color. And, yes, it does look close to an ultra red. And, yes, it's going to confuse people massively. All right, next is, oh, yeah. This looks great in black. This is the uh, 2019 Chevy Silverado High Country in black. Gosh, Auto World does a fantastic job on uh, their black cars and trucks. And this one looks fantastic. The base is black, too. Wow. Okay. I am uh, definitely digging digging it in black. I liked it in blue a lot, but I think I might like it in black a little bit better. Very, very, very nice. All right. Next up, we get... Oh, another one that is going to confuse people. This is uh, the Jeep in Billy, Billy, Billy Silver, Billy Silver, Billet, Billet. I don't know. It's silver, though. It's not raw. Jeep Wrangler. Unlimited. Sahara. Sahara. Sahara, Sahara. You say Sahara, I say Sahara. Uh, anyway, looks pretty good in this color. Definitely going to trip people up. <clears throat> so there's two in that case. There's, I guess there's two in the other one, too. It's pretty crazy. All right. And then we get the... 1966 Chevy Chevelle SS 396 in this one actually looks awesome with those wheels. I, I really like it in this ermine white, black top, white, 
very basic looking but very very clean very nice and i really like the wheels on that they they put on it so i don't think i don't know if we've seen these wheels on this casting yet i think this might be the first time uh, very cool though yeah let's see here next Ooh, wow i didn't think i was gonna like this one um nearly as much as i do now having it in person in imperial blue we have the 2011 Chevy Camaro RS SS, and uh, yeah, let me be the first to tell you, or a second to tell you, I don't know, maybe somebody else already told you. This looks fantastic. This looks absolutely fantastic in this color, actually. Gosh, that looks really good. Um, yeah. The green one looks awesome. Don't get me wrong, green one's the best looking one, for sure. Way be It's better than this, but this is surprisingly... Uh, very very nice looking and this casting is one of the best auto world castings just from the standpoint of it does have uh, inserted details for headlights it used to have inserted details for taillights but now they're painted um, it's just a nice car it looks really good and lastly can we pull a red no this is a 1975 Buick estate wagon in Verde mist poly and this one maybe doesn't look as great on camera in this lighting as it does in person um it looks absolutely fantastic it's 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 a mist poly and it's a dark green with wood paneling and really really to it looks good it looks really good all right so i'm definitely digging that one that one actually that one ugh, it's hard to pick a the best in here my least favorite honestly is the jeep and it's the one that they made the most of um i'm not a huge jeep fan i'm just not i, I mean i they're cool whatever they're just not me they're not for me um but yeah that's probably my least favorite out of this set out of this set b and it's not a bad bad looking car but we got one more case to pop in here and here we go here we go here we go let's score a chase in the case See if we can't. Oh, I forgot to look at two. Yeah, so that Chevelle is limited to 6,800 pieces. So you can't get that in a straight pack. So that's it's cool that I got the ultra out of that because it's it's there are less of those made, um, of course, than the ones that are available in the straight packs. But it's bittersweet because now I gotta actually find one. I will have to actually locate one um, in the store probably instead of just order one separate. So. I can't just order one by itself. There's not gonna be how to do it. It's probably selling that one by itself. All right, so here we go. Chevy truck. Let's go through this quick. No. No Chevy truck. Come on, buddy. Give me another red. Billet silver. Billet. Billet. Camaro. Looking good. And we got two more. There's that guy. And there's that. Alright, so no more chases. Uh, let's take a quick look at the chase we did pull, though. Here she is. Um, so just so we can clarify what we're looking for in um, this series of auto world. Okay, it's good to know. It's good to know, right? All right, so ultra red body, white base. There's the obvious things. The, the other thing we should know is that the car is going to follow the traits of the version A car. That's probably going to be true for all of them. Um, now, there could be some hidden traits in here. It is possible that under the hood there's something. They've done that in the past where they've had uh, like the white lightning style hoods or under the hood see so it's got the interior that is the uh, the blue danube blue interior color of this car and that'll be the same for all the reds they're going to have the interior color whatever the version a car is and they won't have the traits of the version b so it doesn't matter even if you find this car the ultra red on this card it's going to look like that it's not going to be a variation of this so it's the same car 
no matter what card you find it on. So there really only is one Ultra Red unless you're a card collector and you consider the card art a variation, which is fine if you want to do that. That would absolutely drive me nuts if I had to do that because as an Auto World completionist, that would double the amount of Ultra Reds that I would somehow need to find, which uh, would not be fun. All right, well, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know what your favorite was. If I have to pick a favorite and pick an initial favorite right now, I will. Um, it's really cool to score our Ultra Red, but man, there is not much more striking than that. That just looks absolutely fantastic, and both the Chevy trucks look good. I mean, I wasn't going to think I was going to like that red one so much, but I really do like it. Um, but the brown one, too, is, is also very nice. Let's just grab them out real quick. There's the red one. There's the brown one. So they're, they're pretty similar. That cream color really kind of offsets it, but very, very awesome. All right, so let me know what you guys think of this Auto World series in the comments below. Uh, interested to hear your take on it. I love what they're doing. They're adding some new castings into the mix and stuff as we go along. And I think they're doing an absolute fantastic job. And, yeah, pretty cool. So now I just got to find that Chevelle to complete my... Uh, my regular series and then I can start five more ultra reds and I'll be done with this series so sweet got a little head start all right thank you guys very much for watching have a good day